Hey guys, my gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a light banner or something like that. You should see it on the screen now. Mine ain't the best, it's a work in progress, but this is what we'll roughly be making. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to come into File, New, and then um, we're going we want we're going to put the width as 1280 AT sorry and 720 the color mode needs to be RGB colors and the background needs to be transparent so once you've got all that you want to click OK and this will come up and what we want to do is want to click on this triangle and we want to just click somewhere on the screen and we want to type in um, free, we want to type in 379 and we want to put the height as 60 and click OK and this should come up we're going to change the colour yeah we're going to right click go on to blending options go on to colour overlay and we're going to Change the colour to a blue, a dark blue, so like that. And then we're gonna come onto this um, arrow to move it. Sorry about these black hats. I don't know why this keeps on happening, but yahoo. So we're gonna have that like this. Then we're gonna go back to the triangle or square. Then we're gonna um, click it again. But this time we're going to have it as 7, I mean, sorry, no, we're going to have it as 80, 82 and 65. Then click OK. And then we want it as no fill. And I can't remember if this is called, um, I don't know how to spell this, I think it's stroke. Yes, yeah, stroke. And we're going to have this as a black stroke keep it as free PT and then we're gonna um, go into our um, magnifying glass zoom in approximately three taps and then we're gonna click onto this squ um, squared lines and then we're gonna right click and put in raster raster size layer and once that's done you want to click it and then we want to drag it down to here and what you want to do is click delete and if it and if it ain't um, fully like combed off so we're just gonna click again we're gonna click again drag it down and then we're going to click delete again so now when we look at it it is just uh, same as last the last one but without the um, other lines going down so what we're going to do is going to zoom out so by three taps and then we're going to drag this down So like that, so it does take a bit of a struggle to fit it in, but once that is done, we can add some text. So then, once the text comes up, we want it as um, 50 PT, and just type in. We're gonna put leave to light, leave light for more. Sorry. And then. We will move it. So we'll move it approximately. Let's go down a bit. So d there. So we can um, add a drop shadow into this. So once we've added drop shadow, we want it as 
So we want the um, this bit as a hundred, and then this is zero, and then you can have the speed, no spread, sorry, and size as what you like it. So I approximately like twenty two and twenty two for it, so it stands out a bit. So we're gonna click, and then if you want, we can have a grand eye overlay, and I like this as forty. Then we'll click OK. Then what we can do is we can add a thumbs up sign. So it, probably in this square here. We're going to go into File. Then Place. And then I've saved this in my documents. You, I will put a link in the description for the file that um, I will be giving you. So it's called, um, it will be called Video Overlay Pack. And it will have the text of what I'm using. It will have the Facebook um, symbol, so if you've got a Facebook page. The thumbs up. The Twitch, um, if you've got Twitch. And the Twitter, and then YouTube could be for su subscribe. So we're going to go for the thumbs up. We're gonna drag, sorry, wait, we're gonna to drag this down to here. Have the thumb sticking out a bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to then click the tick here. And then we can change the color. So I'm gonna put it into a lighter blue. So we're gonna have color overlay. And then put a light blue in. Not that light. Let's see how. So, or probably a. No, we'll go for a bit. So, no, we'll go like here. I know you can't see as much, but you will be able to see it soon. So you want to click OK, and when we go on to Drop Shadow, we want it all as it is, but we want to change the size to a low one, so five. And then we can change this as how big you want it or how small you want it. So we're gonna go for a. Let's just go for a hundred, so it stands out. So you have the light for more, and then it looks like you just have the art line for the thumbs up. So then click OK. And then we have our um, like for more symbol. So what we want to do is we want to click on File, Save As, and then we're going to just put it into our um, desktop. I'm going to call it like for more. So I've already got one saved, so I'm just going to replace it. I'm going to click OK. Then click that. So if I've just saved it as a JPEG, I think. So you want it as a PNG, not a JPEG. So if we come back, we want it as a pen and then like for more then click OK and then this should come up so you just want to click OK and then if we minimize this it'll be here here it is so what I want to do is want to go on to um, Camtasia Studios and if you don't have Camtasia Studios and if you have a um, Sony Vegas Pro that will be in the description below for uh, another YouTuber who's done this video, but for um, um, Sony Vegas Pro, so for you, for you guys, and yeah, and he's got a video how to get Sony Vegas um, Pro for free, but I've already got Camtasia, and I've shown you how to get it for free, and I, I personally like Camtasia better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import media. We're gonna go onto desktop.
um, when I can find it. So it's libraries. No, it is not. Is it on this PC? Yes, on this PC. <coughs> Desktop, I'm going to click like for more. And then we're going to go down to um. Oh, well, it's already there anyway. We're going to go into um. Library. Um, I'm going to go into videos. I've called it as my vids. I'm going to put in how to, and we're just going to use how to um, get Camtasia for free, which will be our previous video. So I'll put that in the description below. So we're going to double click it and click open, and then we're going to drag this to track one. So we're going to move this all the way down. And I'm just going to separate the audio from the sound. And then delete the sound so you don't have to hear my voice from this and from here. So we're going to then um, see where the intro ends, intro ends. So it is a bit laggy but it's, it is alright. And it's quite good to say it's, that it's for free. Well, I've got it for free. So, we'll put it approximately here. So, what we want to do is we want to click on this, drag this down here, put it here. We don't want it, we won't put it as this long because it's a bit too long. We're going to probably put it here. So, we'll just see how long that takes before it goes. So, yeah. So that is enough time to read that. So we're gonna put um then we're gonna go on to um this one here, and then I like to put a um a right slide and a left slide. So like so, but for you it's all about experimenting. You can have it how you like. So if we um click again and then watch. So here it is, it comes in, and then you read it, and then it comes out. So, and I'll just, so once you've done that, you can put some more in as well. So, if we go into um, clip bin again, go on to import media, and I'll put mine in the pictures. So if we got um, this one, and we went down. Till we found um, the other one, so this one, this one, that one, and the other one I've lost, but I don't think we need that one. Um, here it is, the Facebook page. Whoops, one sec. Um, So we want that one and this one. Then we want to go all the way down and we want to go to our Twitter, my Twitter one. And then click open. So then here it is. So we can have, we'll put the app more. So we want that, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to have them all in order. So I like to just make an extra track and then size them up. So that like that. Then we put our um, things in. So like this and like this. So I'm just going to put them all in here. And then here. And here. So what we will do, we'll get the other one. Put that in line and then shrink this to that side. Size, I mean. And then put this onto the layer 2 track. Put this on 
then shrink it to the same size so like this and then put that so if we watch that all together so if we watch that it will look like that and you'll read it and then it looks like this the Twitter page will come up then the Facebook page and then it will be sub for more as well so that is basically how you get um, them like for more, sub for more, Twitter and Facebook up onto your screen with Camtasia. And if you do have Sony Vegas Pro, I will put um, the link in the description below for um, the guy who I watch this off who does it for um, Sony Vegas Pro. So please like and su subscribe. And this is Matt Gaming signing out. Peace. <laughs> Make, 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 make the ground shake.